If you've been following Ashes of Creation for a while, you probably remember this guy. Jeffrey Bard, who was the lead game designer on Ashes of Creation from Intrepid's birth to May of 2021, when he decided to leave Intrepid to go work at Skydance Studios and pursue his dreams in virtual reality. And from that point on, Ashes of Creation has not had a lead game designer at any point in the last two years, which is kind of a big deal. Creative director Stephen Shreif was filling in with this role on top of doing all of his other jobs at Intrepid as Ashes of Creation headed towards Alpha 2. But today, that all changes as Intrepid Studios has appeared to hire Bill Trost, the lead game designer on EverQuest 1 and 2, to fill that role, along with being creative director at Amazon Game Studios until this month. Intrepid is very picky with their hiring, and according to LinkedIn, they have hired roughly 12 people since the start of this year, including Trost, so the fact that they have filled this long, vacant role with somebody with this much experience behind them tells me that Steven has a lot of faith in him or would have continued to lead the charge on development until he found a better fit. Over on Bill's LinkedIn, he made it official by stating after six years at Amazon Games, working with several awesome teams on quite a few exciting projects, especially New World, it is time for me to embark on a new adventure. I'm happy to be able to say that I am now the lead designer on Ashes of Creation at Intrepid Studios. I've known Steven Sharif, the creative director on Ashes, for several years. We've met his fellow gamers through mutual friends, and I vividly remember one of our early conversations where he laid out his detailed vision for this crazy, ambitious MMO he wanted to build. And I'll admit, at the time, I was skeptical. But I watched with growing excitement as the team Steven has built at Intrepid Studios gained steam, blasted through my skepticism, and started to deliver on his vision. The beautiful, deep world, the gamer-first attitude, and the openness of the team were all things I wanted to be a part of, so when the opportunity arose, I jumped at it. It's also an opportunity to get to work with several awesome folks who I've known and worked with before, when years ago we built another world that is still thriving today. So in many ways, it feels like a homecoming. Ashes is an ambitious game and there are tons of challenging problems to solve, but that is the fun part of game design and I can't wait to be able to get lost in the world of Vera with all of you. This is massive news as Intrepid is finally filling the role that I feel is crucial to development of really any game out there, which also has been taking time away from Steven, which now gives him more time to focus on running the studio and giving us more Discord leaks, like June's livestream that we are still waiting on Steven. What are we gonna see? I need to know. You put it in my comments if you want. Not only that, but EverQuest 1 is an MMORPG that is noted as one of the best we have seen and really introduced a lot of people into the genre and continued that forward with EverQuest 2 around the same time World of Warcraft came around. So having a developer who has helped lead the charge on a classic old school MMO, now at Intrepid Studios to develop a modern MMO with a ton of classic old school features is going to be a massive addition to the team. Now I know what you're all thinking, what about that New World and Amazon Game Studios thing? That game is not very good, so how exactly does this benefit Ashes of Creation? Well, for starters, New World has, in my opinion, good roots. Overall, I don't think the game is very good. It's okay to play, but I think the core features were there when the game launched. It just didn't have enough time to get off the ground and has worked to improve itself over the last few years. It originally started as a MMO with a massive identity crisis as it went from a sandbox PvP game to a theme park MMO that we see now, along with the old head of Amazon games, Mike Franzini, being to blame for the majority of the mess. And once something is pretty deep into development, it's pretty hard to shift the overall vision without a massive overhaul of the systems. Amazon is also a massive company that like most public companies have deadlines to meet and more than likely forced New World out of the oven before it was ready. If New World had a solid three to five more years, it would probably have turned into a great MMORPG. Beyond that, Bill Trostas has over 20 years in the gaming industry within leadership roles as he started at Verant Interactive, which later became Sony Online Entertainment, went through some smaller studios where he eventually landed at AGS and now Intrepid. According to old interviews, he was one of the first people brought on to EverQuest and he described his job as content creation on the macro level such as designing the world and the overall architecture, where he also used a lot of his D&D background to do so, even adding NPCs from his campaign he created into the game. Which if you haven't forgotten, Ashes of Creation is based off Steven Shree's Pathfinder campaign, so I can see how Steven could feel Trust will line up with his vision. He is described by his peers as a man who understands the trappings of a fantasy universe better than anyone and can easily translate what makes the genre attractive to fans directly in the complex, unforgiving MMO structure. 
So although we will have to wait and see, this again I feel like is a great move by Intrepid and it's great to see another experienced developer helping lead the charge with Ashes. If you made it this far in the video, well I assume you are enjoying this content. So help out the channel by clicking that subscribe button and hitting that thumbs up and be sure to comment down below if you think Bill Trust is a good fit to lead game design at Intrepid Studios. Otherwise, if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.